Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving Eve. Um, I'm getting ready to make the crock pot macaroni. This is dedicated to my sweet mother who is in heaven, about to celebrate her first Thanksgiving up there. This is something she loved to make. So we're gonna start, this is a crock pot liner if you've never seen one, they're great for cleaning up. So we're gonna take our cooked macaroni and add half of it. Usually people use 16 ounces. And <clears throat> I do mine a little different. I layer. Um, she didn't layer. Now, um, you can use any cheese you like. If you like Velveeta, if you like um, Monterey. I'm using Kobe. Monterey, mozzarella, and extra sharp cheddar. That's what I'm using, and I was going to put them in the food processor and shred them, but I just cut them into cubes. Okay, so I'm going to start with half the cheese. This is the Kobe Monterey. Now, if you like baked, my husband likes dry <laughs> um, macaroni pie. I don't know how he eats it, but um, if you bake one this dry, it's good for him. This is the mozzarella. I'm going to fling somewhere. And you can cut them into cubes. These are kind of... A little bit bigger cubes okay and this is the sharp extra sharp cheddar which is very hard not to just eat that that's my favorite and you can break them up too all right and you're going to need and oh my goodness I'm on my last stick of butter so I hope I do not need any more butter because I'm having to cook two dinners, one for my husband for today, then for my brother home tomorrow with my dad. I should have had the butter ready. I didn't have the butter ready. Okay, so I'm going to put half the butter here too. And this just, you know, to me, makes it even out. All right. So the other part of your macaroni. And on low for four hours, uh, this is all it takes. And you can work on other dishes that you need and let this just sit and I like the crock pot ones because they're more cheesy and that's what I like about mac and cheese because I like it moist and I like it cheesy <clears throat> okay a little bit more salt and pepper and you could do if I was smart and thought about it you could salt and pepper the noodles while they were in the pot before scooping them in. But when you got to cook a lot, you can't always remember it all. Okay. Okay, now we'll be topping it with the butter and the cheese. And then we'll um, put our milk on top. You'll need two cups of milk. Um, some people... I know has used evaporated milk. I'm using whole milk. I'm just putting all this cheese. I might save this this ugly one for a treat for myself. How about that? Because <laughs> when you're cooking, you never have time to eat breakfast. And then I've got to go to the bank because I heard Walmart was closing for Thanksgiving. I've never heard such. 
but I'm happy for them. I know our my grocery store just down the road, they're going to be closed, and they, they're usually open at least half the day. So I think I don't need anything, but just in case. Oh, I do. My husband needs some diet drinks. All right, so here's our butter, rest of our butter. So that's one stick of butter, and we're going to add our two cups of meat. Now, when it gets to the two-hour point, I would come in and stir it. All right, and at two hours, I will, oh, I hope I will, um, show you. Um, I don't know where I'll be. I might be at the bank. <laughs> if not, you'll see the final product. And you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for myself. <clears throat> okay, it's ready to go, y'all. So two hours, I mean, yeah, two, um, four hours on low. I'll bring you back. Hey, everybody. So this is two hours in. So we want to stir it. It's cheesy, buddy. And if you're wondering, it's not sticking to the um the the crock pot liner. See how cheesy it already is? <laughs> so it's got about an hour and 57 more minutes. You're not supposed to, but I'm going to add a little bit more milk. It won't hurt it. Probably two more cups. The recipe doesn't call for that, but I want to. And it won't be um, watery. Because I'm going to show you at the end, just like the cornbread wasn't watery. You have to trust. Trust me. <laughs> So, uh, I just turned my turkey over. So, it's cooking on the breast side up. You always want to cook your turkey breast side down because it's dry if you don't. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, the crock pot mac and cheese is done. And this is what it looks like. It is nice and cheesy and creamy. Now, <clears throat> if you like the cheese on top like baked um you could take this out put it in the um pan and put some slices of um extra sharp cheese on it and just broil it really quick and get that crust on top but this is good to me so i want to show you the end and um thanks for watching i hope y'all have a happy thanksgiving <laughs>